Holy shit! Wow, all right. Where the hell are you going? The dog. I watched you, you guys came in late as fuck too! Damn, uh, you guys, what made you so late? We were at dinner. You were at dinner, where'd you go? Bar Casino. Bar Casino, oh, so you think you're better than all of us? You can afford Bar Casino and a cool leather jacket? Do you know what you walked into? Do you know what's happening? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> she doesn't know. All right, I'll explain it, guys. This is a crowd work show. Do you know what that means? Yes. All right, so you knew that walking in? Yeah. Does anyone here know, not know what that means? You don't know? You don't, you're shaking, wait. No. Oh, okay, got it, all right, well. <laughs> all right, I need you to not deepen your voice that much. <laughs> Is that your real voice? It's very, first of all, I'm very aroused, but and, and intimidated at the same time. Yeah, me, yes, please. You'll pay and I'll blow you. Uh, all right, all right, no, so a crowd work show is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna improvise the whole set, and it's gonna come from talking to you guys. So you can't be shy. If you see all these goddamn cameras, I am, uh, I'm paying a lot of goddamn money to have this film. <laughs> so if you don't fucking laugh, uh, I have all your addresses and emails. <laughs> I'm Umar Khan. I'm backstage at my crowd work show. Very nervous. First show sold out. Second show's doing okay. And uh, very nervous. So why are you nervous? Beyond the issues that we have? Or is it just... Well, well, you know, crowd work, you're not doing any material. So I have... It could. I could just go out there and bomb to a sold out show. Like, I could say something and the audience gets uncomfortable. So I'm really hoping something... Hopefully, like, something happens that... You know, you get that magic, but yeah, I think it's just like knowing that I have nothing and that makes me nervous. She's still, she's definitely taking your shit, right? <laughs> there she is! Yeah! Uh, have a seat and then we got some fucking questions for you, lady. You were gone a long time. Now be honest, and we won't judge you. Were you pooping in there? <laughs> yes, all right! She did not wash her hands, okay. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia, okay, Sophia. Are you from here? No, I'm from Philly. You're from Philly. Woo! Okay. <laughs> all right, cool, there's two meth heads in the room. Uh, oh, shit. Got your, why are you rubbing your chest? You're okay. I, and, uh, let's, all right, let, you know what? Let's come up with a safe word, because I want everyone, yeah. I want everyone to feel comfortable. I, if at one point I'm making you too uncomfortable, what, what should the safe word be that I'll just move on? If you, but you can't use it too much, because then there's no fucking show, you piece of shit. What should the safe word be? Sophia. Sophia, Sophia. I love it. All right, but Sophia, the one rule is you can't use it. <laughs> All right, so you're, are you single? I am. Ooh, how's dating going? Bad. Oh, no. Why do you think it's going bad? What was the last, describe the last date you went on. All right, well, Sophia, you don't get a pass, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you don't have to, I don't wanna make you. I got, well, I had a date this week, but he canceled. <laughs> what? Look, I'm married, so don't take this as, but you're very attractive. It seems like underwriters make money, right? <laughs> How much money do you make, Sophia? Uh-uh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm gonna ask everyone in this room how much money they make. 
Don't bring that pussy ass energy to my show. <laughs> Sophia, look, you're in Baltimore. We're all poor and, <laughs> and ugly, okay? So don't, you're better than everyone in this room right now. Yeah. What are you apologizing to her for? No, I was, well, you said she's from Baltimore. I was, they're all from Baltimore, and I was like, she's from Philly. I think it's not. Oh, I think you missed the joke. <laughs> Does someone want to explain the joke to her? I was. No, I just felt like Philly's not that much better than Baltimore. Oh. Oh. You know what? A hundred percent, I agree. Yeah. yeah. All right, brown lady, I'm fucking coming to you. Brown women in here? Yeah. I said Baltimore people are dumb, right? Did I not? You wanted to speak up. Now it's your turn. Are you single? Yeah. Oh, oh so you don't have to choose. Right. Do you live here? I do. Are you from here? No. Oh. Yeah, she really thinks she's better than us. Where are you from? South Jersey. South. Oh! from South Jersey? I thought it smelled bad in here. Are you working in school? Yes. Working. You know what? No, don't tell me what you do. We're gonna do something fun right now. We're gonna pick the whitest person in the room to guess what a brown person does for work. <laughs> Wait, you're not white? You, are you white? You're not, you're Hispanic, okay. Right? He's lying to me right now. I sound like a cop, I'm like, you're Hispanic, right? <laughs> I feel like you should guess. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna guess what you do. You get three guesses. And hold on, let's, I mean, there are only three things you could do, right? Yeah, exactly. There are literally three things this woman could do. Think, stereotype, 9-11. Uh, this is so fun because uh, I think we're gonna like uh, cancel a white man tonight. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Airline pilot? What? Oh! <laughs> I mean, she's still alive, so obviously no. That's not a brown joke, that's a women can't fly plane joke. <laughs> Are you dating? I should be. Well, you don't have to be. You're so young. You're 25. You're young. No, like I'm trying. Oh, you're trying. All right. You're failing. Uh, which I know you're not used to doing that, but. Uh, what do you think's going wrong? You're also very attractive. You make not great money, but you're young. Yeah, of course. Yeah, all brown women yeah. do. Yeah, and then you're gonna hit your thirties, and they're gonna get way low. <laughs> yeah, I do. Same here. I was like, I want to marry like someone who has a master's degree, like me, who makes a lot of money. I married a fucking GED white bitch from Glen Burnie. So. <laughs> Years older than me, you know? So, that's why she's not here. She's literally sleeping right now. I swear to God, my wife is sleeping. Yeah. It's great. Also, like, eight years older than you as an adult isn't weird, right? No. But then, if you think about it, when I was 10, <laughs> she was 18. That's a little, like, I was just getting into Pokemon. And I was slamming pogs. And she was a pog getting slammed. What's going on? You guys are chatty back there, the black section. Not, not to be stere not stereotyping, not stereotyping. I had your back with the ho I had your back with the Hopkins. But you are talking, man. What's going on over there? Huh? What the, all right, what the fuck were you guys talking about? It's okay, it's okay. What were you talking about? We didn't know what Pog was. You didn't know, do you want me to explain? Yes. 
Your husband took your husband. that an audience member was talking during my set. <laughs> sir, hold on, everyone, I just want the guy, how old are you, sir? 32. Thir no! <laughs> Give us your real age. 54. 54. <laughs> I love that a 54 year old black man knows a Paul is. <laughs> and he couldn't wait to tell his wife, like, <laughs> no, listen, like, when you leave the house. <laughs> man, what did he say it was? Man, I'm looking at you. Look at me. What did he say it was? No one help her. She's getting this out tonight. Just like how her husband gets it out to Pogs. Uh, what's a Pog, man? I'm not, we're not continue, finishing, I'm not moving on. I love like we're at the UN, she has to confer with a million people. It's a fat ass white girl, that's what it is. How long have you guys been together? 29 years. 29, holy shit. Yeah, you can give it up for that. Do you guys have kids? Because here's the thing, I've been married for a year and uh, we don't, you know, we're kind of on the fence. What do you think? Yeah. Do it? Don't do it? Hold on, Rodney, what do you think? I think it's been too long for me not to say those <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there was moments where you're like, I should have shook this baby. Uh, I don't know, because like, what's, I don't really see the upside of children. I only see the downside. Because whenever like, I think about having children, all I think about is like, I can't go on vacation. I'm gonna get fat. My wife's not gonna, well, she doesn't fuck me that much right now, but uh, what's the upside, Rodney? All right, Rodney, you better save your goddamn marriage right now. And you're 28 year old, 28? It's the greatest gift I've had in my life. Okay, all right. Damn, dude. Well, you never had Paul pussy then, Rodney. Anyone else here, parents? Can you be honest? Is it worth it? <laughs> Honestly, is it fucking worth it? Because it does most, not... Most of the time it's worth it. Okay, what, what makes it worth it? Because five and three, that's young. You can still get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're hot. Casey Anthony was hot. <laughs> I said it's going to get rough. So. <laughs> so what makes it not or worth it? You can get sappy, That's, we can get real. Kids are pretty awesome and seeing a little bit of yourself reflected. Like, oh, that is, you is yeah, cool. that does seem like nice. When they achieve things, yeah. very strong sense of pride. All right, I'm not one of those like anti-kid people. I just like, I'm like, I don't feel like I, yeah, I like traveling. My wife's 42, so it'd be, you know, I'd have to like cheat on her or something, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, you know, she's all, I don't want to be changing two diapers at the same time. <laughs> Who here is not going to have kids and knows they're not? Yeah? Oh, this row, yeah, you guys. <laughs> I'm sure you did blow before you came here. <laughs> What's your name? Kyla. Kyla. Oh, I thought it was something more exotic. Uh, <laughs> how old are you, Kyla? 24? 23. 23. What do you do? For what? I'm doing public health and law. Public health and law. I feel like if you want to make money, you gotta go to the law side. What the <laughs> hell are you even, what do you want to do when you're out of grad school? Like I want to do like healthcare law. Healthcare law, what does that mean? So like, work for a law firm that does like healthcare law. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're paying a lot of money for this fucking school. Damn, Kyla. I'm gonna show this to your future clients. Uh, hey, this is what you hired. And she came late, by the way, so. Why don't you want kids? You don't have to, this, you can pull a page? Sophia, Sophia. God damn it. Sorry, you're so forgettable. Uh, 
I'm kidding! Uh, everything is a joke, Sophia. If this is too personal, we don't, you don't have to answer it. No, it's not personal. Okay. I feel like I want to build my career and like prioritize other areas of my life. Yeah. Like what areas do you want to prioritize? Like friends, traveling. Yeah. Yeah, this is a 23-year-old answer. Because uh, look, I'll be honest. When you hit like 33, all your friends go away. Either they're like, you know. But what if they don't have kids too? Well, they're probably gonna have like, you know, like heroin addiction problems. They're gonna be making TikTok videos because your generation's dumb as shit. Uh, and they're gonna move, you know? So. Your friends are gonna get, you don't have to console her. You're not gonna be in her life. You have a nose ring. You're on drugs right now. <laughs> Fucking be like, I'm gonna be with you always. <laughs> I'd have two weddings. Cause I'm Pakistani. Yeah, and my mom's dream. You know, my, my parents are so dumb. Like, no, they're great. My parents are amazing. They're, but they're immigrants. Like your parents, right? Immigrants are tough, right? Huh? What? Why are you throwing your hands up? It looks really accurate. Yeah. I don't know if you know what profiling is, but uh, sometimes it works real well, lady. What? Yeah. Well, I know, but it's not hard to look at a brown-skinned person and be like, "Your parents aren't from here, right?" Why was that weird? Did I? Are your parents immigrants? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> God, white people, you guys used to rule this world. And honestly, at comedy shows, you guys become Asians. Because you laugh like this, you're like, hey, 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 hey. is that okay to laugh at? Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's three Asians here, uh, which is three too many in my book. Uh, huh? Their first baby? Oh, that was, do you know this guy? Oh. Wait, did you hold up your drink to show us you're drinking? Oh, okay. First baby, holy shit. Are you excited? What are you gonna name it? Okay, so will Sophia the name? Holy shit, I didn't know the name was like that precious to white people. Okay. Uh, is, is it something like Pocahontas or something? <laughs> okay. How far along? Uh, 22 weeks. What's the most annoying thing people do to you? They just touch your belly, right? Um, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not I don't really have anything annoying yet. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You guys, honestly, you're both you're very good looking. You both look like you make a ton of money. <laughs> Your lives seem perfect, uh, so I think you should tell us what you're gonna name your baby. <laughs> I mean, you can I so. Mean, no, there's one thing to say about like having babies. Yeah, please. Like, so it's like fun to think about like like the here and now, the opportunity. Yeah. Here and now, but like when you're 50, yeah. 60, 70 years old, like think of the holidays, like being loved. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Look, he's not wrong because he's not, listen, he's not wrong because no one in my family really has like young kids and my, my wife's brothers, they don't have kids. And so then the holidays are just a bunch of adults who don't want to be there. So, so wait, so you're having kids just so you're not lonely later. Uh, did not, is that not what it sounded like? He was like, hey, this bitch is gonna be boring in like 10 years, so. Are you guys worried though about like global warming and the direction of the country? Well, actually, I think you kind of look like the direction of the country is going in a good direction. <laughs> Feel really good. Dom killed up top, so and the crowd was like so hot. And I think, I think it went well. Like, I think everything was good. There was nothing like awkward. My whole goal, when I do crowd work, sometimes I get too mean. And I don't think I ever really crossed that line. Kidding. Oh, you're not Asian? What the? All the time. Stand up here. Now we gotta guess who this, what this, what this thing is. I don't think I made anyone uncomfortable. 
Actually, that one 28-year-old might hate me, but. 28, holy shit. And is this all you're doing to celebrate? Oh, okay, thank God. Cause uh, <laughs> a lot of pressure on me. But is it fun to hear your mom and dad talk about a pog? Is that fun? <laughs> Huh? Oh, Jesus, that hurt my feelings. Oh, my God. Second day, both shows sold out. That's amazing. So that pressure's done. I'm always nervous. The thing that's making me nervous now is this crowd is just not chatty. And, like, before the show in the green room, when you're sitting there, and if you don't hear the crowd, like, really talking to each other, you're like, this is going to be a rough one. So it's, that's making me nervous. But... I'm gonna try to get that out of my head, but I'm feeling good. Okay, you guys look very scared. <laughs> and I'm filming this, so don't fucking fuck this up for me, all right? All right, there's two empty, this is, come on, we're filming, guys. Is there a couple who can sit here? This is gonna, I can't have a camera. You wanna move here? Come on, bro. Hell yeah, give it up for these people. Hell yeah. You guys drink beer? You drink beer? Yeah. Can we get uh, two beers for these people? Wait, are there options? Dark or light? Light. Oh, black guy went light. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, light skinned girl. There you go. You don't have a New Year's resolution, Manisha? I said it was to read more. Oh, shit. I have a bad memory. Mine is to uh, listen when women talk. Uh, <laughs> Did anyone have like a really bad 2022? Like, did anyone hit rock bottom and they're like, 2023, I'm gonna make an improvement? Yeah, what, do you, what happened? Piano guy? Oh, yeah! Come on, I need, we need to hear it. You would. Was in a custody battle with my ex wife for a year. Holy shit! Over a piano? <laughs> Whoa, but to be fair, she's not here to defend herself. You could be a piece of shit, we don't know. Okay, and so you have an eight-year-old? Five-year-old. Five-year-old, oh, eight-year marriage, five-year-old. So did you win custody? Um, it's still split, but she definitely did not get what she wanted. So. Oh, okay, the way you said that kind of makes me think both of you guys suck. Uh, <laughs> you look young. Yeah, you, yeah, so you're gonna turn it around. 2023 is gonna be your year, year. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, well, yeah. So, what's your resolution gonna be? Uh, uh, to read more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better, you better read up on child parent laws, asshole. <laughs> an interracial couple. I'm in an interracial, but mine's the reverse. She's white, so. Are, are your parents cool with this? They love him. Really? So you make a lot of money, all right? <laughs> what do you do, sir? Uh, I'm a researcher. A what? A researcher. Are, are you for real? That's not a joke? No. And what do you do, ma'am? Wanna guess? All right, yeah, let's have, <laughs> I'll guess, I'll guess. Is it one of the three? Are you an engineer? Fuck. All right, two more, two more. Doctor? Yes! Oh! Are you guys married? Fian or engaged, all right, come on. I feel like it's so different now. Like, you know, in movies, like, growing up, you would, like, the man buys a ring, it's secret, it's a super surprise, and now it's, like, my wife, she looked at me, she's like, are we gonna get married? And I was like, if you want. And then she picked out a ring and sent it to me. <laughs> Did you do that? No. no, brown women don't do that shit. <laughs> My mom would, yeah. Wait, so, did you have to pick a ring all by yourself? Wow, did you talk to her parents or anything? Or friends? How did you know what she likes? Okay, so you did exactly what I did. I was like, did you surprise her? No, I asked her exactly what she wanted. I mean, here's the thing. So okay. I and we get it, you're better than <laughs> us. <laughs> Damn. 
damn, Sam, you are not subtle at all. <laughs> so, I like Sam, he's probably just saying, like, you know, he's horny, he's on the couch, he's like, do you like sucking dick? <laughs> Did you think, like, oh, he's buying a ring for me? I mean, I dropped it up him. Yeah, okay. What was hint number one, Sam? You should probably get married to Sam. <laughs> okay. So you guys did exactly what we did. You're trying to make me look like a not romantic piece of shit. But I didn't pick up my ring exactly. Okay, and then, did you, how did you do it, Sam? Uh, we went on a scuba trip to Turks and Caicos. Oh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> okay, what, did he, what happened, how'd it go? And did you have any idea that day, it was like, was he being weird? How did you know that? Because we talked about it. Oh my god! You guys, this is, I hate you guys. I hope you guys get divorced. I love it went from like total surprise to you knew every step of the way. So what happened, the day of? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding, I'm, to I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Sam's gonna murder me after the show. I'm sorry, keep going, I love this, this is cute, I love this. You can cut all this part. No, uh, 100%, we, we can't have a... We can't have a 20 minutes and some couple no one knows? No, keep going. I called it from the beginning. I'm gonna do it. Are you? It, oh man, you sound like virgin me, where I was like with my girlfriend, like, are you ready? <laughs> I want to talk to you. This is gonna sound mean. You are the oldest person in this room, which is okay to say. See, you guys. She does. Do you care that I said that? Okay, she does. She does. <laughs> but I feel like you can teach us some things. Yeah! How old are you? Can I ask? No. Okay, well. Do you have kids? Yeah. How, how many? One. One. Okay, how old? I can't ask how old your child is? Yeah. Okay. Because me and my wife, you know, we've been married a year. There's a lot of pressure for us to now have babies. And we, I, we decided not to. Do you think we're going to regret it? That's your choice. Oh, wow. I, I need you to call my parents right now. <laughs> you talk to parents, they're like, but, you know, because I'm worried about, like, money and pretty much just that. But, uh... You're also going to worry about money. Well, I don't right now because I don't have children and I save a lot. But if I had one, I wouldn't be saving. Yeah, so that's what all you idiots say. And then what do you say? Every parent's like, well, you figure it out. <laughs> No, that's not. Well, don't worry, you guys. Oh. Man, do you see what I'm doing right now? Do you see I'm just doing the most basic Indian jokes? That's how dumb I am. Any questions for me? I asked you guys a lot of questions. What's your question? So say you like somebody. You like somebody. You're friends with them. Oh, friends, okay. And they don't invite you to their wedding. Yes. So I'm like, oh man, we didn't get an invite. You're then getting married to your fiance. You still like the person. Are you obligated to invite them to them? Okay. I would say you're not obligated, but I personally would invite them. What would you, all right, clap if you would not invite them. Yeah. Okay, okay. Clap if you would invite them. Oh, it's half and half. Do you know why you didn't get invited? Umar, you tell me. Okay. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Bye. So the first show, I think the first show was good, but again, like, 
the, I think the first show of the weekend was the best, and this the last show we just did was good, but it wasn't like it was just hard. It's gonna be hard to top that first show. Three out of four done. Yeah. We probably got enough. I think we got enough. But like, so with that in mind, what are you trying to get on this show? Man, what should I do on this show? I don't know. I think this show, let's just be super silly, goofy. Let's have fun. It's late night. It's Saturday. So what about that joke bothered you? I'm Canadian, but I grew up in South Florida. So it's not like that at all. It was very weird. Okay. Like, I mean, you wouldn't walk into a place and hear like Sean Paul. Like, Sean Paul, I love Sean Paul. Okay, I think you just made it super weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Damn, Canadians, we gotta, guys, we gotta build that fucking wall <laughs> on the north side. This is, we've been talking about the wrong fucking border this whole, we're, we're letting Michaela's in this fucking country? What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, that makes sense, okay. <laughs> and uh, do you, are you from here? Uh, no, Ohio. Ohio, okay. Is that, <laughs> I gotta be honest, you guys do look like some Midwestern women. I gotta be honest. You guys look very, that is a very Midwestern look. Also, that's how you know they're Midwestern, like the excitement. I like, I just, I thought three women came just now when, uh, when he, they're like, woo! It was like black women at church, that was amazing. Ohio? Yeah. Wow, do you know this fucking guy? Okay. I don't know. Who's this chick? Hold on, she's not even showing her face! Is that a daughter? Lady, show me. This isn't the Middle East. I need your face. Come on. What's your name? Uh, Lisa. Lee. Okay, you made that up. I work with children. And this is. Uh, yeah, no, fuck those kids. But, uh. Yeah. I'm doing this so I can get famous or never talk to those assholes ever again. But uh, no, I'm kidding. I love the kid, but I know when someone's lying because whenever you know, only I only talk to bad kids, and I'm like, so did you do it? And then they're always like, uh, is your name really Lisa? No. Oh yeah, of course. Give me your goddamn real name, lady. Huh? Linda. Oh. You did not go too far. Your, uh, your imagination really sucks. <laughs> How do you know these nice women? Friends. Really? <laughs> You're the youngest one, though, right? She is. Yeah. 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 I mean, not that you guys look great. Look, my wife is eight years older than me, so yeah. Okay. Is, it, is that? Actually, they look good. Oh. Michaela, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're stupid. No. This is what Canadian, no. <laughs> you sound like John Candy, but you're attractive, so uh, my penis is very confused right now. All right. Why are you guys in Baltimore? We're having a girls weekend. In Baltimore? <laughs> Look, we have very low self-esteem here. <laughs> but that's how you know Ohio sucks. They're like, where should we go to celebrate? Baltimore, Maryland. You gotta stop talking, but uh, it's okay. You're, you're doing okay. You're doing okay, but I know you're drunk. Why? Oh, just... <laughs> I think it's very fair. Well, because of the lack of social awareness. <laughs> Isn't that like a telltale sign of a drunk person? This is, we, I work with your daughter. Yeah, so this is uncomfortable. So you guys are close. Wow, so you call your mom for like advice and... What was the last thing you needed advice on? Yeah. Wow, your life is very white and I love it. <laughs> I love the whiteness of that, like, hey, mom, I crashed my car. 
No big deal, but can I borrow? I need to go to Trader Joe's. She has virtual court next week. Holy shit. You should, yes, please. And lie. Huh? How do you lie? All right, I, huh? What? Wait, what did you say? What did you say, dude? No, say, I want to know. She told a film. She has. Oh, yeah. Damn. Do you see, hold on, hold on. Do you, hold, stop talking. God. Do you, shut the fuck up. God. Do you see how black people have to navigate the world? He was the only one aware that there's four, your dumb ass had no clue. And you're like, yeah, I didn't stop. And this guy's like, shut the fuck up, lady. You're incriminating yourself. Do you see how much better that was than what you were gonna say? <laughs> Are you here alone or do you know? I mean. No, I don't wanna pick up. No, that's okay. It's cool to go to shit alone. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. What's your name? Dave. How was your 2022? That fucking sucked. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Dave, right? Yeah. Why did it suck? I mean, did your mom also die? Yeah. For real? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, well, someone's dead and you're joking about it. She just flipped you off and she can't even drive, so. Why'd your 2022 suck? Be real, no jokes, why'd it suck? Let's. You're alone, do I have to explain? Oh, so you're, you're single. And that's bothering you. No, not at all. Okay, you're being sarcastic. No. You're being a douche and I understand why you're single, got it. How long have you been single? Five years, okay. Are you trying? Are you on apps? Are you? Yeah, I'm on apps. Ooh, which apps? <laughs> a few, I mean. Are you on like Tinder, Bumble? Yes. yes. Can I see your Tinder profile? <laughs> Thank you, all right, Dave, all right. Ooh, you're a skateboarder, okay, that's hot. Women like that. I mean, if they're 14. Uh... <laughs> All right, I think this should be your first picture. You look hot as shit in this picture, right? Oh, Doesn't you look hot? Yeah. That's your first, this should be your first, you look so good in that picture, dude. I can't change, I'm not gonna do, but I'm telling you now, you'll change it when I give it to you. You're very bossy, uh, you know? For a, a post Me Too world, that's not good. Uh, oh, you play guitar, we all knew that by looking at you. Uh, and you ride motorcycles? No. What is that? Who is that? That's me. So you ride motorcycles? That's the chest you favorite. But aren't you on the motorcycle? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he understands questions. All right, no, 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 no! What? You don't ask, I ask the questions. I a sorority, I can help. Oh my God. <laughs> This mean you peaked in college. Uh, <laughs> all right, about me. All right, can I say this? It already start. You gotta give yourself more credit. Just your pictures, you do cool shit. You play guitar, you're a good skateboarder, you, I guess, ride motorcycles. But you're, you start out too um, self-deprecating. This is, this is about me. Decently attractive for 34 and aging like a mediocre wine with a platable amount of baggage. <laughs> no, fuck honesty. It is funny in this, but if you were a chick not at a comedy show just seeing this, you'd be like, you know, yeah, left, exactly, right? All right, let's rewrite his bio. All right, come on. Dave. What do you like to do the most for fun? All right, you know what? I got this. I got this. <laughs> White women love adventure, so we're gonna see, and you seem like an adventurous guy. Here we go. I love adventures. <laughs> I.E. Because that makes you sound smart. Yeah, I know you're in a sorority, but that means, for example, uh... 
What should we tell them that I have a kid? You have a kid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to lead with that, I feel <laughs> like. You definitely, and uh, I'm... That's totally part of the adventure. Just put father in there. Yeah, sure. And I'm also going to call the... Uh, I'm also going to call Child Protective Services, but... Uh, How old is your kid? That's fair. No, no, I asked the questions. Remember that part? No. How old is your kid? <laughs> okay, here's how we're going to do it. But my favorite adventure is my 12-year-old son. Yeah. It sounds a little pedophile-y, but I think people know what they mean. There you go. I think that's good, right? Yeah, there you go. All right. Give it up for Dave. Come on. Ah, oh, there's brown chicks right in the front. I even talked to you. Holy shit. Are you with her? Yeah. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to move on. Uh, no, no. What's your name? It's your dad. Okay. I know I look like I should be able to say it, but you gotta, I was born here. Were you born here? Uh, no. No, okay, where were you born? India. India, okay, I had a feeling. Okay. <laughs> Ishita, we've been doing a fun game at every other show. We're gonna do it tonight. Okay. All right, we're gonna pick the whitest person in the room to guess what you do. Okay? Okay. All right. You, play. And look, here's the thing, she's brown. There's only three things she can do. So let's give your best guess. Hold on, get, get the camera on him, we're gonna ruin this white guy's life. No, no, she has, you have a job, right? I'm doing part-time job. You have a part-time job, are you a student? I'm a student, I'm doing a part-time job. Did he get it? Oh! All right, thank you guys so much. That's our show. Have a good night. Done. We did four shows, three sold out, and uh, I think most. I got I'll. I'm gonna call this a success. I feel good. All right. I think it was nice to be able to sell out three shows in your hometown. That's it. I think we're good and I'm happy and I, uh, I hope people who watch this enjoy it. So